Reducing fractions, a la schmuck. You may not be aware of it, but we have a serious fraction problem in this country. Every year, thousands of fractions are carelessly discarded. They make their way into our food and our water supplies, and they pollute our air. So please do your part to reduce, reuse, and recycle fractions. Uh, well, reduce them anyway. Okay, so reducing fractions may not save the environment, but it will make your life easier. But how do we reduce a fraction? In this sense, reduce is simply another word for simplify. Say we are given the fraction 24, 36. Basically, we want to find the equivalent fraction with the smallest number so it's easier for us to wrap our head around it. Equivalent fractions are fractions that are exactly equal to one another. For example, 3 fourths and 6 eighths are equivalent fractions. If we give you 3 fourths of a dollar, we'd be giving you 75 cents. If we give you 6 eighths of a dollar, we'd still be giving you 75 cents. Well, back to our original fraction, 24, 36. If we divide both our numerator and denominator in half, we get 12 eighteenths. Because we are doing the same thing to the top and bottom, we wind up with an equivalent fraction. Chop it in half again, and we get 6 ninths. We can no longer divide evenly by 2, but we can divide by 3. Now that both our numerator and denominator are prime numbers, our reducing days are behind us. Looks like the most reduced version of our original fraction is 2 thirds. If you had realized from the beginning that the greatest common factor of 24 and 36 is 12, you could have saved yourself a couple of steps. But you'll get the hang of it the more you practice. The world's fractions are counting on you. Give a hoot, don't pollute, reduce a fraction today. What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke, but if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmoop.com. And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.